For most people, it was an ordinary, everyday night. For most people. But on this special night, amidst the abundance of the gifts that God the Greatest has given to us, the greatest gift possible came to earth, for us to take into our hearts and to enrich our lives forever. The beginning of our story starts with Mary and Joseph putting a few things together, ready for the journey they have to make to the town of Bethlehem. Mary, do you want another cup of tea before we go? Oh, Joseph, I'd love one. We've got a long way to go, and we don't know when we're going to get a chance to get another one. You are good, silly. We've got to go to Bethlehem. We're going to be registered. It's another decree from Herod. He wants to make sure everyone's paying their taxes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we went to the tax office to explain about the baby, you know, being due very shortly, and... Um, I told him it was a special baby, but they just said, everybody's baby's special, aren't they? I even said that this is a, this is a one-off. There's never going to be another baby like him. But they just shrugged their shoulders. People are talking. Yeah, Mary, why don't you tell them all about it while I go and get everything ready? Yeah, okay. It was quite a while ago now. I was chatting with Mother while we were making bread and she was telling me about my Aunt Elizabeth. Oh, she's getting on a bit now. Never had any children. But the news came through that she was pregnant. Oh, amazing or what? I can imagine what her husband thought. When he found out, he was struck dumb and he never spoke again until the baby was born. Anyway, it wasn't long after that. I was sat just thinking about getting married and making plans like you do. And I heard a voice saying, do not be afraid, Mary. Oh, never, never mind not being afraid. And I jumped a mile. I turned around and I was almost blinded by a beautiful sight. It was a vision of an angel. I've never seen anything like it. And when she spoke, I was just I had a wonderful sense of peace and love and joy. Do not be afraid, Mary, she said. You are honoured amongst women. You've been chosen by God to bear his son. Well, how did I feel? I'm a bit shaken, to be honest. I wasn't married. It took, like, it took a while to get my head around things. But then I realised this is God's will. So, let it be to me, according to his will. When Mary said she'd got something to tell me, I never expected this. I like to think I'm an honourable man, but it took some time thinking about it. What would you have done? So, if you are an honourable man... Well, thank you, Mary. I'd like to think so, but... I was going to let you down gently. That's until the angel came to me. Even then, the thought of being the father on earth to God's son was really daunting. Then I realised how blessed and honoured I was to be trusted by God to look after both mother and son and cherish them for the rest of our lives.